Hi there, it's Zach from Meridian Media, and I'm going to talk to you about a mysterious and underutilized editing tool in Premiere Pro, Blending Modes. Blending Modes allow you to composite multiple layers of video to create a variety of effects. Photoshop users may already be familiar with using Blending Modes on still photography, but moving video can also benefit from control over the blending of layers. In order to experiment with Blending Modes, we need at least two video clips stacked atop one another in our sequence timeline. The top clip will become the source of the blending, while on the underlying clips will have the source clip's composition and blending mode applied over it, resulting in a composite of the media clips. Here, I have a video clip of a sunken castle on top of a digital particle animation. We'll target the top layer as our source. Within our effects control panel, notice the blending mode drop-down menu, listed under the opacity header. With 20 different options available, the best way to experiment is often by cycling through them. While trial and error is inevitable, Premiere Pro does categorize their blending modes into six sections based upon their effect. Normal is the default setting and results in no layer blending, while Dissolve randomly selects some of the source's pixels to make transparent, resulting in the appearance of digital noise. Adjusting the opacity of the source clip will allow more or less of the underlying layers to be revealed. Subtractive blending modes, such as Darken, Multiply, and Color Burn, will typically darken a composition. I'm using Darken here to reveal the darkest pixels in the layers of my composite. Additive blending modes, such as Lighten, Screen, and Linear Dodge, will typically lighten a composition. Here, I'm using Color Dodge to project fluffy clouds onto the castle. Complex blending modes such as Overlay, Soft Light, and Hard Mix provide increased saturation or contrast to your composite. I'll use Hard Light to imprint this film grain into our footage. Blending modes like Difference, Exclusion, and Divide create colors through calculating and processing differences in source and underlying pixels. These blending modes often produce extreme results, as you can see when I apply Divide to these clips, creating inverted color information. HSL blending modes like Hue, Saturation, and Luminosity will transfer color components from underlying layers into the result color. These modes also tend to produce dramatic changes to the result composite, as you can see here, when I apply the color from this solid red matte to the underlying black and white image. Unlike still photography, video composites can take advantage of time's effect and compositional changes in the source and underlying video clips in a sequence. When deciding upon a blending mode, it can be helpful to play the video clips you are affecting while you scroll through blending modes. This gives you a better understanding of how the composite will change over the duration of the media. With most blending modes, a little goes a long way. If you're looking for subtle texture, you might find it easiest to start with a source clip's opacity at 0% and slowly walk it upward until you get the desired effect. Blending modes work well in combination with opacity dissolves. Keyframing this allows you to intensify or reduce the effect over time. This can prove helpful in creating more complex transitions than simple cross dissolves or hard cuts. Blending modes are an important tool for special effects. Additive and subtractive blending modes can be used to create dynamic, controllable luma keys within a sequence. You can also use blending modes to add or enhance moving textures like smoke or steam, as I did in this comedic cooking scene. Layering several different source clips with different blending modes can create interesting compositing effects. Often abstracting, this process can work well for title sequences and music videos, like you see here. The most important advice I can give on blending modes is to have fun and take risks. 
Some of the best ideas come from unexpected discoveries, and with the toolkit as diverse as blending modes, you never know what you're going to create. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you have ideas for future video editing tutorials, leave us some feedback in our comment section. Thanks for watching.